Just looking at the Pyramid of Giza, it's easy to be impressed. But when you dive deeper into the effort behind its construction, what you find is absolutely mind-blowing. Commissioned by Pharaoh Khufu in 2570 BC, the Great Pyramid is an absolute behemoth, standing at over 450 feet tall and made up of over 2.6 million individual slabs of granite and limestone. The numbers really raise some questions. How is it even possible the Egyptians carved 2.6 million blocks? each weighing just over two tons by hand in one pharaoh's lifetime. Historians believe the construction lasted 27 years, which means the Egyptians had to produce over 96,000 blocks annually, the equivalent to 263 blocks a day to supply the project. A 2017 experiment by stonemason Frank Burgos showed this was possible, though difficult. Using replicas of ancient tools, four workers were able to craft a 2.5-ton block in just 16 hours but only when keeping the stones constantly wet. Following this math, the Egyptians needed over 4,800 workers, working non-stop for 27 years to cut enough stones. Cutting the stones wasn't even half the battle. Now they had to be moved. The project required over 6 million tons of materials, made up of over 5 million tons of limestone, 8,000 tons of granite, and more than 500,000 tons of mortar. While some stone blocks were quarried and transported relatively nearby, the real feat was transporting the casing stones made of white Tura limestone, quarried 15 kilometers from the pyramid. Even using modern equipment, this would take a very long time. If we have dump trucks that can carry 20 tons of limestone each, it would require 275,000 individual trips. Even with modern equipment, loading and unloading 20 tons takes a lot of time, so let's say each 15 kilometers trip takes roughly 2.5 hours. The trucks could make eight trips per day, and with 10 trucks on this schedule, it would still take just under nine years to transport the limestone alone. Getting the rose granite stones from the king's chamber was also quite the task. These massive stones weighed between 25 and 80 tons each and came from Aswan, about 900 kilometers away. If the Egyptians managed to move at a very generous 5 kilometers an hour, the journey would have taken 180 hours or just over a week per stone. We'll divide the 8,000 tons of granite stones into 200 equal trips of 40 tons. This means the granite for just one chamber of the pyramid would have taken over 1,400 days and a combined 360,000 kilometers worth of traveling just to gather the materials. Once the stones were brought to the site, there was still the absolutely insane task of assembling the pyramid. To construct the pyramid in 27 years, the 2.5 million blocks would have to be lifted into place at a rate of one block every three minutes. They also didn't just build it in a half-ass way. The construction of the pyramid utilized intricate design plans, resulting in the sides of the base have a mean error of only 58 millimeters even after thousands of years. It's also surprising the Egyptians were able to build it at all, as prior to this only one flat-face pyramid had ever been constructed, which was the Red Pyramid by the previous pharaoh. Prior attempts resulted in what's known as the Bent Pyramid and the Failed Pyramid of Medium. What's impressive is this improvement happened in around 50 years and the Egyptians would never create something on the scale of the Pyramid of Giza ever again. As impressive as the Pyramid of Giza is, and as much attention as it's received, we still don't know what exactly it was for. The common theory is that Khufu wanted to use the structure as his tomb, but the building is missing the hieroglyphs that would typically indicate the final resting place for a pharaoh. Additionally, there are chambers in the pyramids that seem to have greater purposes than simply being air shafts. But we'll cover that in our next video. Make sure to subscribe as next time we're going to take a look at the suspected uses of the Great Pyramid, as well as explore potential reasons for its strange passageways and subterranean chambers.